Greetings, Cancer. So I'm coming to you with your reading. We're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to start off with your Star Code Astro Oracle. So the card you received is number 36. This is talks about Midhaven, the pinnacle. So um, this says inventory your professional reputation and ask what you can do to strengthen it. Update your website. Look at your definition of success and make sure it is your own. Actually make sure makes you happy and is not one you have inherited from your family or mentors. Think about the training you've received from these authorities and notice where it still serves you and where you need to release their preconceptions and step into something bigger. It says traditions other people's expectations or your family history may be complementary to your idea of your own potential, or they may be hurdles to overcome as you find your true path. It says underneath all worldly sense of amb ambition, it is a soul's longing to live out its potential. Listen to the call. So next we have your Rose Oracle. You received one card and this says open. So this says, it says, say yes, expand through the extremes, trust life. Following that, we have your love oracle card. So you receive two cards and the first card says addiction. This talks about codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block, restraint. Next, we have date, D-A-T-E. This talks about meeting someone new, dating, get back out there, plan or set a date. Following that, we have your fruit oracle card and you receive the card that talks about fruits of abundance. This is sacred geometry, actually. And it says... Fruits in abundance symbolizes prosperity. Plenty of fruits represent wealth, fertility, and success. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, this is the fruit of life, um, sacred geometry. So a little bit more about the fruit of life. It says the middle circle is the sun. It stands as the sustainer of life. The other 12 circles represent the seeds of life, the six planners in the solar system, the 12 zodiacs. Okay, so next we have your Native American animal symbolism card and you receive the swan. This talks about grace. It talks about balance and festive. Following that, we have your angel number and you receive angel number 1011. This talks about new beginnings and fresh starts. Lastly, we have your rainbow random words. So the first word you receive is herbs or herbal bath. Facebook. You receive the rune that talks about intuition, emotions, flow, and renewal. You receive Taurus. So you could have Taurus somewhere in your natal chart or you could be a cross watcher that's a Taurus. We have fake reader priest or priestess so this taurus could be a fake reader priest or priestess or someone you're thinking of next we have music then we have surrender then you receive the rune that represents cycles completion and changes then we have yin and yang following that we have controlling we have pizza gates we have moon cycles and boundaries so that is everything i have for you cancer i hope you enjoyed this reading if you did definitely thumbs up this video and i will talk to you in your next reading